Hey everyone, welcome to Fort Worth. We're about to do a walking tour. Let's go. everyone and welcome to Fort Worth. We are downtown right now. We are in the Sundance Square and we're gonna just do a quick walking tour of downtown Fort Worth. Check out some historic buildings. Shouldn't take too long and let's go check some out. Everyone, welcome to Sundance Square here in downtown Fort Worth. Now this place was named from Butch Cassidy's sidekick, the Sundance Kid. And apparently the two, along with their gang, would spend time in this area as they were evading the law. Fun fact for you. So this area is basically just a bunch of shopping areas, restaurants, and a place to hang out. There's a water fountain over there. Pretty cool mural there. Just kind of a neat overall place. And there's a cool metallic cowboy hat right in the middle. Well, this is kind of interesting as well. It's like a tree bench. You'd be doing your schoolwork on this. However, I don't think you're going to be getting a lot of schoolwork done on this unless you're learning about trees. Also, over here is the old Woolworths building right here. Now it is a Simply Fondue and a Caravan of Dreams. But how awesome is that? The old Woolworths, Woolworths building. Oh, yeah, see, it says right there. F.W. Woolworth building. This red building here in front of us is the Knights of Pythias building, or also known as the Knights of Pythias Castle. The first castle was built in 1881, but it burnt down, and this building that you see in front of us was built in 1901. This building was also the site of Fort Worth's first coin-operated laundry and the first offset printing press. The Knights of Pythias, in case you don't know what it is, is a fraternal organization that was founded in 1864. Though its membership has considerably waned, it once had nearly one million members throughout the world, including Louis Armstrong, Nelson Rockefeller, and also Franklin D. Roosevelt.
And if you look up top there, the Pythiathan Knight. Way up there at the top, looking over the street. Really, really neat thing about Sundance Square around here is the brick roads. How awesome is that? If you are looking for a nice museum to visit, the Sid Richardson Museum is a very nice place to visit if you are into paintings. They have paintings by Frederick Remington, Charles Russell, Oscar Burninghaus, Charles Brown, William Gilbert Gall, Peter Moran, and many, many more. The museum was actually constructed in 1982. You know, this is why I like Fort Worth, especially downtown area, because they have all these placards of history and I love history the white elephant saloon I believe used to be this building here That's a cool mural there on the side of this building. We have now wandered to the first Christian church of Fort Worth. The church was built in 1915, designed by architects E.W. Van Slyke and Clyde Woodruff. It's a bow art and renaissance revival style the church was actually founded in 1855 and it is the oldest continuously operating church in the city Morning worship, Sundays at 1045. Looks like it was entered in the National Historic Register in 1983. City of Fort Worth landmark. Now, I don't think we can actually go in. see inside that is nice those columns wow I'm gonna have to see if I can get in here somehow beautiful
check out the detail on those columns. That is awesome. I love these old buildings. This building I don't have any information about. I might have to find some information out about it, but apparently it was built in 1924. And here it is. In 1930, well, I'll have to see if I can find out some information about it. That's another very, very beautiful building. Let's see if I can find out some information about it. You know, what would be really cool is if they turned it into a hotel or something with the balconies up there. I don't know if that's what they're planning to do. I don't think so because it says retail space, but that would be a great idea to do that. So I'm not sure if they're actually redoing that or it's actually redone, but reading up on it, there's actually, ho there's going to be a hotel or there is a hotel, there's restaurants or going to be restaurants and then office space as well. So it's going to be pretty neat when they get done with it. It looks like they're redoing that building over there too, the Sandman Signature Hotel. We might have to stay in that and see what that's like. That's a pretty cool old building right over there. Not sure what it is. That is a very little itty bitty building. I wonder what it is. Very tiny. This is a pretty cool Art Deco building here. The Public Safety and Courts building. Actually, you know what? There's something about it on the side. Let's go look at it. Our last stop on this tour brings us to the St. Patrick Cathedral. Now this building of course is on the National Historic Registration and construction began in 1888 and it was completed in 1892 and it was designed by architect James J. Kane and the Second Empire. It has a Gothic revival and prairie architectural style. this over here beside it. I don't know what that is, but 
that looks pretty cool. And is this another church? That is, I don't know, but we're about to go find out because there is a sign. And we know I love reading these signs. St. Stanislaus Koska Catholic Church. Interesting. So this was a church or was the whole design a church? I'm not the sure. The church opened a Catholic school in the period. Classes initially were taught by Thomas. So was there a school then? Maybe it was a school. Well there's that too. And then the yeah and then there's this which Can I go in? Yeah, does, does that say academy? Yeah, yeah academy. Oh, well, that is a school? Maybe. I wonder if it's still running. I bet it is. Oh look, I think there's a placard on that. Well, as long as nobody tells me to leave. St. Ignatius Academy building. The first Catholic school in Fort Worth. 1885. And it was conducted until 1962. Wow. That looks like it was recorded on the Texas Historic Landmark in 1962. That's awesome. Yeah, St. Patrick Cathedral. That's the actual St. Patrick Cathedral there. This was the old school, apparently. Awesome. And then over there is the Pastoral Center. How awesome is that? I love these old historical buildings. And then there's the cathedral over there.
And here is the rest of the cathedral over here. Looks like they light it up at night. that guy hey guys I hope you enjoyed this tour of some of the historic buildings in downtown Fort Worth there's probably gonna be at least one or two more videos like this once I learn some more history about some of the other buildings around Fort Worth so stay tuned and look out for those until the next one keep on traveling y'all